Pukhtun landscape, a mood. Whom the gods on high wish to destroy, they will soften, they will madden by and by. I don't hear singing in the fields anymore. I don't hear the reed by the riverside. The sounds of laughter seem to have gone forevermore. Even the tears have almost dried. The fever stalks this land from peak to glen and clan to clan. Slinks under the feet, floods the sky with a free hand. It withers youth, dries the blood in the veins of man. No door can lock it out, no heart can have any doubt. The cock doesn't crow any more, and the moonlight fails as balm. The Afridi mountains lean in awe, the waters at Noshera are far from calm. In Swat, they are storing for winter the apple yields. The Hashnagar harvests have been good this year, but there is little joy in the tall green gold cornfields where men sit waiting with weapons in fear. The foreign Farangi is not the foe, the enemy is within, do you know? Falls the stifling scent of despair, hark! Footfalls of a strange doom sweeping wide. Ghastly forms taking shape in the dark. Hyena howls, ape snorts, the vultures here by our side. Faces at the Hujra grave, the shadows grow dark and sure. Talk no longer of the wise and brave. Men sit at councils of war. We do nothing better than wait, and waiting drags at such a slow rate. The Tarbur ambiguity is so apt today. Enemy is cousin, and cousin is enemy. Plate, heads or tails, whichever way, the enemy is known, wherever he may be. Nothing grows from the barrel of a gun, save fever and fire and fear. What for one man is games and fun, for another is injustice without peer. The old order is sick in bed, and our tomorrows hint at being red. Pakhtun Wali has become a myth and rare, and the Pakhtun doesn't live here anymore. The Mamand here, the Khatak there, Khan behind this wall, Kisan behind that door. Brother greets brother at dawning through the sights of a gun. People will happily give you warning. Tranquility vanishes with the sun. Sure, Samson's strength buried his enemy dead, but the temple came crashing over his head.